We may have heard of Sokatoa, but how do we actually use that to find angles and sides using trigonometry? Sokatoa is the little phrase we use, and it represents the fact that sine equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Cosine equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, and tan is the opposite side divided by the adjacent. But let's try that in a question. Specifically for this video, what we're going to focus on is when the unknown is on top. And you'll see what I mean in a minute, hopefully. So trigonometry, unknown on top. Now, to do trigonometry, we're going to need a triangle. So. Here's our right angle triangle, and trigonometry, after all, always has to be a right angle triangle for Sokatoa. Here's our right angle triangle. How do we know it's right angled? Because of the little box that will always be in the corner. There it is. And we're going to solve this one. Let's give you some real lengths to work with. For example, this side here. This long side is six centimeters. And this side here, let's call it x. We don't know what it is. The angle down here is 43 degrees. Could be anything. And your mission, our mission, is to find out what x is using trigonometry. What do we need to do? First, we need to label our sides. This side here, 6, which is opposite the right angle, what do we call that side? That side, opposite the right angle, the longest side, is the hypotenuse. What about side x? That side is opposite the angle, so we call it the opposite. Now we can see which relationship we're going to need to look at. The adjacent down here, we don't know. And we're not looking for it, so let's forget about the adjacent. Which one of these, Sokatoa, involves the opposite and the hypotenuse? Sine. Sine, indeed. So we have sine, and here's what many students forget. They forget to do the angle. They just write something like sine equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. But it's sine of the angle. Why do we have to keep focusing on the angle as well? Because, remember, this side wouldn't be the opposite side if you looked at the other angle over here. We could work out the other angle up here as being 47 by working out the angles in a triangle. But if we focused on that 47 angle, the side down here would be opposite, and the side x would be the adjacent. That's why it's so important to say which angle you're using. Sine of 43. And what does that equal? The opposite divided by the hypotenuse, or in this case, x divided by 6. <coughs> what do we do to find x, to get x on its own? At the moment, we've got this confusing divide by 6. How do we get rid of divide by 6? This question, by the way, is where I get the title unknown on top. The unknown side we're looking for, x, is on the top of the fraction, and that's the side we're looking for. How do we get rid of divide by 6? We multiply both sides by 6. So times by 6, times by 6. The side on the left becomes 6 multiplied by sine 43. I write 6 times sine 43 rather than sine 43 times 6, because if you're typing that in the calculator, sine 43 times 6, sometimes they get the calculator gets confused and thinks you mean sine of 258, which is 43 times 6, or something like that. So we just put the number first, just to be safe. And that equals x. Why does it just equal x? Because the divide by 6 and the times by 6 cancel out, which was our whole idea. Now we get out our calculator, and as I said, we do the 6 first. So we would do 6 
times by the sine of 43. And we get 4.09. So in this question, x is 4.09 centimeters, two decimal places. Let's try another quick example of trigonometry in action. Let's flip it around just to show you that it doesn't really matter which side it's on. And let's show that it's a right angle with a little box. Here we are. This time we have this side here as being 5.3 meters and we're given the corners. The, the corners of this triangle have names A, B and C and the question is find the length find the length AB. This is just another way of phrasing the question as we had for our first question with the side X. Here it's find the length AB which is this side across here and of course we would be given another angle so we're given an angle here perhaps 30 degrees. First we always need to label our sides. What's this side here 5.3? We know that must be involved because it's the side that we've been told. What side is that? Is it the opposite? Is it the hypotenuse or is it the adjacent? Well, the adjacent side is the side which is touching the angle and touching the right angle. So this is going to be the adjacent. It's not opposite because it's not far away from the angle. Which side is far away from the angle? It's AB. But why didn't we label AC, this, this long side, hypotenuse? Because we're not looking for that side. We don't really care about it. We haven't been told how long it is, and we haven't been told to find it. We've just been told find the length AB. And the length AB is far away and opposite to the angle. So we're going to label it opposite. There's our two sides that we care about. Which relationship in Sokatoa deals with the opposite and the adjacent? That would be tan. You can see it has opposite and adjacent. And now you can begin to glimpse how useful it is to have this memorized Sokatoa. Makes every question a lot quicker and a lot more simple. So we know for this question it's going to be tan, thanks to Sokatoa. So tan equals, ooh, wait, don't forget, tan then the angle equals, tan of 30 equals. Another mistake that I sometimes see is students just writing tan 30 and then working that out on the calculator. And then they stop and then they, um, they don't really know where to go from there. What you need to do is write the whole relationship out. So it's tan 30 and what does tan equal? Tan equals the opposite divided by the adjacent. So in this case it equals the opposite which is AB and the adjacent, which is 5.3. So it's AB divided by 5.3. Again, we have the unknown on top. What do we do when the unknown is on top? We multiply by the denominator to get rid of the denominator. So in this case, we're going to go times by 5.3 to that side and times by 5.3 to this side. What we get is 5.3 times by tan 30 whoops, <coughs> equals AB, which is the side we're looking for. So let's type that in the calculator. Again, starting with the number 5.3 times tan 30, bada bing, Bada boom, 3.06. So it's 3.06 meters for the side AB. And using just Sokatoa and the relationships that we know about, we've discovered the sides of a triangle.